Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be reacting to The Boys Maverick. This is my first time reacting to The Boys. I'm super excited. You guys have recommended this group to me so many times. I've listened to Thrill Ride. I've listened to The Stealer. I'm obsessed with those songs, but I've never seen an MV from The Boys. As usual, I'm going to react to the MV and then afterwards we're going to deep dive into the fashion. After all, that's what my channel is all about. Just a little bit about my fashion background before we get into it. I studied fashion design at university where I specialised in menswear and then I went on to work in the fashion industry for around four years where I worked with affordable brands through to contemporary designers and British heritage brands. Ooh. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, yes. Straight away the looks. I didn't know what to expect from the looks. You all said this group are fashion, so this is intense. <laughs> Super villain in the mirror, yes. I love these looks because there's all these different levels, shorts, trousers, we've got trousers that are more casual, but everyone's got the body, armour, bulletproof vest vibe going on. This is just really intense, like, I don't know what's going on. Getting like action movie vibes, they're coming for each other. Ooh, no, 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 no. I love how it like drops to the whisper. I can imagine if you're listening to this in headphones, that would really like <laughs> be an intense moment in the song. Like, <sighs> yes, back in the games. This is attitude, this is intense. Oh, the choreo is so fucking sick. Take over the city of night, I'm a maverick. The choreo is so strong and it just matches like the intense vibe of the MV. <laughs> I don't know why but it's giving me like a squid game, like hunger game vibes with like the chokers with the screen. Oh my god, the M. Dripping, yeah. <laughs> I just. Why are they mad? Why are they coming for each other? Like, ooh, the switch. He's like, no bitch, I'm gonna get you. Wait, did he have a knife? No, pencil, right? Feeling in the, oh yes, outfit change. Ooh, like the white and the grey colour palette. I'm on my way. Take a breath. Look out the scenes from a corny hero movie. <clears throat> Everything's just a game to me. I love the whisper. I'm fucking here for the whisper. <sighs> this is what I wanted. I'm literally like, this is what the boys needed to give me and they are giving it. Like the jumpsuits, the hoodies, the chains, how everyone's jumpsuit is styled differently. You know I love that. Oh, people have got, where have the cats come from? Everyone's been rocking, everyone's been fighting. We're crying. And now people are getting gas. Like this is some wild shit. I, Rocket Lord, this is wild. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. It's so intense. Like, what is going on? You're fucked up. You're fucked up. Like, ooh. They're coming for each other. I want to know what the collars represent. I find that really interesting. What's going 
protect yourself. What is they? Protect yourself from what you want. Deep. Mate. If you enjoyed today's reaction, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a future upload. That was everything the boys needed to give. Like, like I said, I love Thrill Ride. The Stealer is the shit. But this is my first time reacting to an MV from the boys and it was action packed. It was intense and I really loved the styling, so let's let's get into that. I think what's really nice about the main looks in this MV, and I'm gonna call them the main look because that's what we see majority of, everyone has the same kind of underlayer. Everyone's got a white shirt with a tie, and then from there, we've got different levels in the outfits. We've got trousers, we've got shorts. Everyone has got the armored vest on. Is it an armored vest, the bulletproof vest? I don't know, body armor. Let's just call it body armor. Everyone has body armor on. Everyone is accessorized to the nines. Obviously everyone has the digitalized collar on as well, which I think is a really sick accessory in general. And it is giving me like the Hunger Games, Squid Game vibes. If any of you guys know what like the true meaning of it is, please let me know in the comments. I'm super, super interested to like know more behind this concept. One of my favorites from this set of looks has to be Sun Woo. I just really like the knee pads and the shorts of this look. It's a really tough body armor. It's very intense. And then I feel like styling it with shorts and the knee pads is just pushing it in that more like a fashionable direction than actually being literal, if that makes sense. Another favorite would have to be News. I just love the combination of the blazer, the short, and then that military boot that's coming like right up almost the knee. I just think it's a really sick combination with that body armor jacket. Hand it over. I wanna be sat here in that right now. Or even this with it would look sick. <laughs> Moving on to the jumpsuit look, the white and the gray color palette. You know I'm here for a really concise color palette and this whole MV has just been very concise and quite monochromatic. I feel like the only flash of colour has been the red ties and obviously the members with coloured hair. Again with this set of look, it's the idea of levels that have been pulled through. Everyone's got the white hoodie, everyone's got the same jumpsuit, but everyone's been styled differently. We have members where the jumpsuit is tied around the waist, where it's completely done up with just the hood out, or it's just coming up asymmetrically on one side. And it's just these little styling differences that really make each look unique. And I do, do love that. I don't really like seeing groups in matching looks, unless it's a good matching look, like NCT 127, favorite vampire. Those matching looks were mwah. But usually I find when everyone's in a matching look, it's not that great. I think my favorite look from the set, is it Jacob in the middle? Please correct me in the comments. I feel like I've definitely got that wrong, but he's got the jumpsuit that's worn all the way up and then we get the flash of the white hoodie and then all of the heavy chains worn around the hoodie. I just love the placement of the chains around the neck and how heavy the chains are. A lot of the other members have chains on their waist or coming off of the pockets, but all of his chains have been focused around the neck and then the rest of it is really clean. It's, it's, just, it's just speaking to me. <laughs> the boys have blown me away. You guys recommended this to me so many times finally reacting, the fashion, the aesthetic. This was intense as well. So I'm curious to see what other MVs from the boys are like. If that's something you'd like to see from me, please do let me know in the comments. But what you should do next is go check out my previous video, the most controversial K-pop outfits. I'll leave that linked in the top screen here as well as in the description box. But thank you so much for watching and a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed. You are brilliant. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.